This is me in 2008. I had lupus, but I had no idea what was going to happen to me. I was a model. I thought I had it all figured out. I was young, sexy, and smart, and had a daughter. But things were getting ready to change, and soon. I was also a gymnast for everyone that knew me. Um, I was a Jesse White tumbler. I worked with the Chicago boys. I did gymnastics pretty tough. I was very athletic, and I ran track. But I was diagnosed with lupus March 3rd, 2011. They thought it was cancer, even HIV. I didn't even know what lupus was. Like, what the heck was lupus? And how did I get that? That was me about a year after my diagnosis. I started to gain weight a bit. And you could tell just slightly. But I had no clue what was in store for me. I was one of those girls who never gained weight. However, here you can look at the difference. This was 2012. I was in the Miss Indiana wheelchair pageant where I won first runner-up. And that picture appeared on BuzzFeed. They gave me prednisone. And prednisone is a drug that is a necessary evil. You need it to live and it helps your disease. But it helps you gain weight. And makes you kind of hungry. A lot hungry, actually. Lupus is an autoimmune disease that attacks your body. It's like being allergic to yourself. Your body starts to attack organs and it causes pain, organ damage, and failure. It can even cause death. Here's a picture where I really don't recognize myself either, but it's me. I try to stay away from taking pictures that were full body and stuck with close-ups. Here I was at a funeral. Um, my family was being mean to me right now, so I'm looking down. I'm actually rolling backwards. The world really wanted to talk about my weight. They didn't want to talk about my disease because they didn't understand how they correlated. And I would gain weight, lose weight. And I fluctuated from the size 4 that I started all the way up into a size 14. Those pictures there I hate because they show how heavy I was. A lot of these pictures I had just got out of the hospital where they pumped me full of steroids. And I gained so much weight where I was unrecognizable. Also here, my daughter's prom in another picture I took. One of the worst pictures ever in my opinion. And yet, I don't look so bad, but... I just don't feel like me. Here I started to try and feel beautiful and accept how I looked and accept my fuller body at this time. And, you know, I would do my makeup, make sure my hair was done and make sure I felt like I was beautiful and believe that things I couldn't change, I couldn't worry about, and the things that I could change, that's what I would work on. And I think that's the best bet. These drugs are no joke. And when your doctor gives them to you, it's important that you take it. However, I started to play around with my medication, and a mysterious thing happened. I started to lose weight, and I began to look like myself. And I began to get happy, but... Here I am today. I'm kind of in a mix of still taking my medications and still fighting the weight gain. It really shouldn't be a big deal, but I am smaller now, as you can see in the pictures. I took that picture just yesterday. I want my health on the right track, but I don't want to look like something that I'm not. There's nothing wrong with being heavier, but there's something inside of me that wants to look like I look and not have to worry about that. I'm now okay with gaining a little bit of weight or a lot of weight because I know it's only temporary. And as long as I'm healthy, big or small, I love it all. Hey too, this is your girl Sonia. And this is how I look today. This is how I've pretty much looked. I guess my whole life I've had a little puffiness here right now. But um, this is, I don't know if you guys can see me, but um, this is generally how I look with all, all that awful weight gain that I get from all of those medications that I take. That pretty much keeps me alive and working and functioning. 
I wish that it didn't have to be that way, but I mean, that's, I kind of have to be grown up about it and accept the fact that, yeah, um, I might have problems with um, my weight from here and there, but it's important that to my family and the people that love me that I stay alive. And um, I, <laughs> I agree with that sentiment. I mean, you guys know from my video back in May of 2012, how I had a brush with death. And um, it wasn't cool, you know? So I, uh, it was scary. It was probably one of the scariest moments I ever experienced in my life. And if I have to gain a hundred pounds to not go through that again, then I'll just have to do that, you know? But this is me, this is how I, uh, you know, look without all of the medications that I take. I got this leotard on sale um, for $11, Amazon, love Amazon. But um, yeah, that's pretty much the way things have gone for me in the past couple of years is, is very little that I can do. You know, so I just try and roll with the punches and and just deal with it. So, let me guys know what you think. Hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. And why don't you and a friend or a loved one, why don't you sit that person down and have them watch and subscribe to my videos as well. I hope you guys can learn so much from me because I learned so much from you. Alright, talk to you guys later. Bye. <sighs> video of the review of my GVP that I'm sitting in.